It's Brittany and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So a few days ago, I posted my how I edit my videos video and of course a video wouldn't be complete without a thumbnail. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how I usually make my thumbnails and one way is through my phone. So later on, I'm gonna introduce an app that I use and the other way is through Photoshop and Sketchbook. My thumbnails are usually very girly. They always have pastel colors stickers and handwritten text so today i'm gonna show you how i make those and i promise that this is going to be very easy coming from someone who doesn't really have a background on photo editing so if you want to know how i edit my thumbnails please keep on watching i used an app called meitu and this is totally free go to photo editing and then choose a photo and then click magic and as you can see, there are a lot of stickers to choose from. Go back and click on custom. Type in your text and you can also change the colors, the font size and the font. So you just create an outline and you can also adjust the size if you want it bigger or smaller. So it's time to add some stickers and you go back to the magic button and choose any type of sticker that you want. I usually choose a sticker with some flowers on it. For the texts, you go to text and then click bubbles. There are a lot of styles to choose from and you just type in the text and you can also change the color and the font. And that's how easy it is to make a thumbnail using your phone. The second way is through Photoshop and Sketchbook and here are the raw photos. The first thing I do is I just combine the two photos together in one canvas. Then I go to the other photo and remove the background using the magic eraser tool. And this process usually takes a while because it's trial and error. Lang talaga to. I'm also using the background eraser tool for the other areas. Once the background has been deleted, I'm gonna transfer it to the canvas and resize it accordingly. I will be adjusting the brightness because the photo kind of looks a bit dark. And that's it for Photoshop, so let's proceed to the next step. To make the handwritten text, before kasi I was using my brother's iPad to use the Procreate app, but now I have found a cheaper alternative which is this tablet that I got from Shopee. So this costs for around 1,300 to 1,500 pesos and you just connect this to your computer so it works on Apple and Windows devices so no problem for MacBook users out there. And yeah, if you're interested to buy this, I'm just gonna link it down below and let's proceed to the tutorial. 
the app that I'm using is Autodesk Sketchbook and this is a free app. The first thing that you do is you open the Sketchbook app and then you drag the photo in there. And then you add the layers so that the original picture won't be disrupted or hindi magugulo yung original photo mo. And then you go to the color wheel and I usually choose a light color for my outline. For my brush, I use the paintbrush and I just adjust the size accordingly. And I'm just gonna draw an outline and it usually takes a while because it's trial and error din to. And then after doing the outline, I'm gonna add another layer and I'm gonna change the color to a brighter pink and draw some hearts around the photo and just keep on adding elements so that it won't look too plain or boring. And then I added another layer for the text itself. I used the color picker and chose a color from my outfit and then made the brush size bigger. So it also usually takes a while because it's kind of hard to draw on this compared when you draw on an iPad. Because sa iPad, may kita mo talaga kung saan pumupunta yung sinusulatan mo dito kasi parang medyo mahirap lang talaga mag-adjust. To create the outline for the text, I added a new layer and then I dragged the layer with the pink text going up and then I just changed the color and the brush size to a lighter color and I just followed the lettering of the pink text. So as you can see, nasa ilalim yung lighter text and nasa taas yung pink text kasi pinalitan natin yung arrangement ng layers. You can add more words, more stars, more hearts, and more elements if you want. But this is how I usually do my thumbnails. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope na may natutunan kayo from this video. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! You're my favorite.